Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to continue our time battle. So now it's the turn of the Enterprise B and the Enterprise C to face the mighty Enterprise D, the Galaxy class. In terms of weapon armaments, the Galaxy class completely eclipses the Ambassador class and, of course, the Excelsior class. It's capable of firing 10 photon torpedoes from the front and 10 from the rear in one salvo. It also comes with a very large phaser array which gives 360 degree coverage. The Ambassador class was introduced in the 2340s, whereas the Galaxy class was from the 2360s. I do think the Ambassador will be able to inflict damage, just it will be limited by the number of torpedoes it can fire, compared to the Galaxy class. And I have a sneaking suspicion the Enterprise B is really going to struggle with this battle. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to start off in the Ambassador class. It will be interesting to see how the Enterprise D fires those torpedoes. Okay, so it's firing them in a single pattern rather than a burst. I really need to get out of the way of the front of the Galaxy class here, but they've obviously got superior speed. Ah, they're turning. Right. As you can see, our shields are being melted right now. Oh gosh, torpedoes. Look at that. They can just fire 10. That's just nuts. Okay, we have caused a little bit of hull damage there, and their shields are weakening. Yeah, their phases are definitely more advanced than you would expect. This isn't going to go well for the Ambassador, I don't think. Oh gosh! We are right where they want us. We just had a bit more speed. Desperation, let's go for the warp core. Okay. This is probably not how ship combat would go down between two large vessels. I'm impressed here though, we have done some hull damage at least. Oh no. Okay, I feel like I need to try that again because I wasn't happy with that. We got too close. There we go. Forward shields are down to 80%. Okay, our aft shields are failing already. Do you see, that kind of makes it impossible to run away from them. They've got greater speed. Oh gosh, the warp core's been hit. This has actually gone worse. Well, I've got five torpedoes left before we get destroyed, probably. Yep, there we go. It's a shame you can't insist on warp in Bridge Commander Remastered. That would have really helped us there, but I, we know what the outcome would have been eventually. Right, am I going to be able to one-shot the Enterprise B here? Oh gosh, look at that! Ten torpedoes! Boom! Oh my gosh, we did! <laughs> that is crazy! Wow! <laughs> oh dear! Gosh, I can't believe that. Just literally one-shotted them. I mean, I, I suspected it would cause critical damage, but one-shotting them? Okay, we've done some major hull damage there, but their shields are still intact. That's interesting. Wow. Yep. Oh. Their top shield has failed. The Galaxy class hasn't even broken a sweat. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't care. It's just like, right, yeah, I can do this all day. Oh, I 
I hit the bridge as well. I'll probably just do this with phases now, to be honest. Hey, the galaxy's aft shield, though, is struggling here. And the ventral shield. Shields are at 75%. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Phasers. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was certainly a more convincing victory than the Enterprise C's over the A refit and the B refit. We have zero hull damage and most of the shields are still intact. What do you guys think of that result? Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.